Alright, okay, let's look at this question. This x is a continuous random variable. Alright, continuous random variable with cumulative distribution function. Alright, this is a cumulative distribution function for a continuous random variable. And how to find the value of hk here, right? In the previous video, I've already discussed about the special characteristic of the uh, cumulative function where the value before and after will be have the same value right so now how to finding the value of k here so okay let's solve this problem here so very simple so if you if you if you look at here uh, zero doesn't help here okay even though they are the same you, see, you substitute the zero here right you substitute the zero here you are getting zero right you're getting zero so you substitute zero here also you're getting zero but the k will be together you're getting zero so you can't use the value of zero here to finding the value of k here all right so now what we can do is we probably can using the value of 4 here right uh, the value of 4 here so because the value of 4 here when you substitute here and when you substitute here they have the same value right uh, because this is cumulative distribution function for a continuous so it means that the f4 uh, is the set they have the same value here so when you put thing here you have k square root of 4 right it's the same as when you're putting the value 4 here, right? Uh, putting the value 4 here. So when you're putting the value 4 here, you have h uh, 4 minus 4 to the power of 2 plus with 2 over 5, right? Plus with 2 over 5. So if you evaluate this, this one will be 2k, right? Square of 4 is 2. So and this will h uh, 4 minus 4 will be 0, right? Will be 0. So h will be 0 as well. So you will left with 2 over 5. Divide to both sides, then your value of k will be 1 over 5. Right? Now you have using the, the, the characteristic of this cumulative distribution function in finding the value of k. Okay, how about the value of h? Right? Uh, how about finding the value of h? Definitely I'm already using 4, so I'm using 7. Okay, sorry. Here will be 7. Right? Uh, I can using the value of 7. So very simple. So what you should do now will be you substitute the value of seven here, right? Uh, substitute the value of seven here. So you are getting uh okay now I consider about f seven, right? F seven, which will be h seven minus four square plus with two over five, right? Uh, so seven substitute here seven minus four three square, right? So, and later on, you equals to, because the value when you put in here, you are getting 1 also. That's the same as you put uh, the value for 7 here, you are getting uh, 1 also, right? So, for, for here, you have uh, 7 minus 4 is 3. 3 square, you have 9h, right? Which is equal to 1 minus 2 over 5, right? 1 minus 2 over 5, you're getting 3 over 5, right? So, your value of h will be 3 over 5. Multiply with divide by 9 here, right? So you will getting 3, 3, 9. So you're getting 1 over 15. Uh, so finally you have, have your value of h and k. So your h will be 1 over 15. And your value of k will be 1 over 5. Right? Uh, so I'm uh, using the characteristic of the cumulative distribution function. But this method is not applicable when you, when it's come to probability density function right uh, so you see that uh, using the 4 same thing here 0 you're getting 0 it's substitute getting 0 but if you're using 0 it doesn't help okay you can't find the value of k so I'm using 4 right and I'm putting the 4 here so at last I will getting uh, the, va the value of k right okay later I'm using the 7 here I substitute and the 7 here you have value of 1 they will be have the same value so then I'm finding the value of h okay uh, so now I have h is 1 over 15 and k is 1 over 5. Alright, so I will rewrite this function by putting the value of h and k into the function. Alright, uh, the next will be how to find the probability density function from the given cumulative distribution function. Alright, okay, you see how I'm going to find the probability density function as you can using the concept of uh, you can get the density function by differentiating the uh, cumulative distribution function for each interval here, right? Uh, now for the first interval for x less than 0, right? Your cumulative distribution function definitely you will differentiate uh, 
at this time, right? At this time, your fx, uh, this this interval, the cumulative will be zero, right? So you are getting zero. Okay, uh, go one by one each of the interval. So for zero x less than four, so your probability density function will be you differentiating the function at this interval here. Uh, which is 1 over 5 square root of x. So when I want to differentiate, I will write the square root of x to be 1 over 2. Right? Uh, 1 over 2. So I'm uh, differentiating here, bringing the power using the basic differentiation rule. So I have 1 over 10. Right? 1 over 2 times 1 over 5, 1 over 10. And this you will go and minus with 1. You have negative 1 over 2. So you are getting 1 over 10 square root of x. Uh, so this is the for the second interval. Okay, now go for the third interval, right? So, which is uh, 4x less than 7. So, your property density function at this time will be you differentiating the, uh, the cumulative fun function. So, which is 1 over 15. 1 over 15. So, you must have some basic skill of differentiation. So, 2 over 5, right? So, to differentiating this is very simple. So this is you can using the power rule, right? The power rule here. So because this is a part something to the power of two. So you have to bring down the two here, two over fifteen. Right? Bring down the two, multiply the two with one over fifteen, and x minus four. And the two you have to deduct by one minus one. You have been one, and differentiate the function inside here. You have been one, right? Uh, so definitely you differentiate the constant. You differentiate this constant. Uh, you are getting zero, right? So it means that uh, you are getting 2 over 15 x minus 4 as the property density function for this interval, right? For this interval. Okay, next. Uh, so later for, for x after 7, so your cumulative distribution function, uh, sorry, your property density function is you're differentiating the cumulative distribution function at this interval which is 1. So you're getting 0, right? Okay, now you have done everything in the 4 interval. So you're going to summarize them, okay? Summarize them. So I'm going to write here. So your property density function, you can summarize, okay? It's different from the cumulative, you start with 0 and with 1. But for property density function, if they have a 0 here, which they write here to be otherwise, right? This is the format. So otherwise, and there is two function here. So this one you don't need to write because you have because it's getting zero, right? Fx is zero, which I already put it in the form of zero otherwise. So now we're just writing this uh, for zero up to four, like for the interval zero, four. Uh, so zero and four. The small fx is one over ten square root of. Right. Okay. Then later, the, this one, uh, this one. So it's two over fifteen. Two over fifteen. Uh, x minus four, right? X minus four. This is for the interval. Uh, uh, four up to seven. Right. Four up to seven. Four. Up to seven. Alright, also this will be your this will be your probability density function. This will be cumulative, right? Uh, so you also must know how to from here go back here. Okay. So alright, later in this uh, video I'm gonna show you how to uh, find the median, right? Find the median so by using the this cumulative distribution function. Right, okay. How to using uh, make the cumulative distribution function to finding the median, right? Uh, so if I already tell you, if you want to find median, first quartile, third quartile, you also can using density function, but this is a lot difficult compared to this. So I was really wanted to find the median by using the cumulative distribution function, right? As the questions require you to by using the cumulative distribution function. So you have to know that median is defined to be capital letter F to be 0 0.5. And this can be rewrite to be px less or equal m, which is equal to 0 
but the probability before M, all the collection, collect all the probability, which will be add up to 0 0.5. Then the value M here will be your median. So, but now the M here, you have to choose a suitable function for the cumulative. Definitely, it won't be the first and the last one. It will not be these two. It's either this or this. So, how to decide? Very simple. I have this you before, you can choose the upper boundary value. There is many methods, right? There is another method here, but my method will be I'm using the upper value. So we are putting the 4 here, right? You're putting the 4 here. So you try to calculate uh, square root of 4 divided by 5. So you're getting 2 over 5. So here you have 2 over 5. Uh, you have 2 over 5. 2 over 5 is 0 0.4, right? Uh, and for this, if you're putting the 7 here, 7 minus 4, right? If you're putting the 7 here, don't need to calculate also, right? If you already have the knowledge here, you know that if you're putting 7 here, you're getting 1. Why? Because 7 here is 1, right? Here, 7 also must be 1, right? Because 7 minus 4, if you don't trust me, you try. 7 minus 4, you have 3 square. 3 square is 9. 9 over 15. 9 over 15 is 3 over 5. 3 over 2 over 5, you have 1, right? You have 1. So it means that between these two values, this is impossible. The median will not be here. Median, quartile, first quartile, will not, third quartile will not be here. It's either these two, right? Uh, I know the first quartile will be here, right? Because this value is more than 0 0.25, right? Uh, your Q1 will be here, right? Uh, so because this is more than 0 0.25. And, but it's less than uh, 0 0.5, right? It's less than 0 0.5. So it means the median will not be here. The median will be here, right? Because one more than 0 0.5. The median and third quartile will be at this interval here. So, I hope you understand because you have already watched the video before this, alright? So now, you have to substitute the M into the this function here and not this, right? Not this because this is 0 0.4. 0 0.4 is less than 0 0.5, no. So, now, you substitute the M into here. To find the median, you have to substitute to the correct function. So, which is this cumulative, this one. Uh, 150 n minus 4 square plus with 2 over 5 and must equate to 1 over 2 or 0 0.5 here. So 1 by 1 slowly you're doing n minus 4 square which is equals to 1 over 2 minus 2 over 5. Alright, let's calculate the, uh, the value which you are getting 0 0.1, right? From here, you are getting, this is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4, you are getting 0 0.1. And the m minus 4 square, I'm going to be moving the 1 over 15 here, multiply 15 both sides, right? Multiply 15 both sides, and here you will have uh, 0 0.1 times with 15, you will have 1.5, right? Uh, 0 0.5 times 15, you have 1.5. So you have 1.5 here. And then you have m minus 4 square to be 1.5. But you, when you want to solve a quadratic, the square, there is a two possibility, positive negative of square of 1.5, right? So it means the median, it can be, you can change this to become a decimal form, right? Decimal form, uh, square root of 1.5 will be, uh, live in three decimal places for more accurate, it will be 2, 2, square root of 1.5 will be 1.225, right? 1.225. So your median could be 4 plus with 1.225. Right? And just calculate, right? See the possibility. M can be uh, negative 1.2. Uh, sorry. 4, right? 4, right? Negative 4. 4 minus with 1.225 here. So if you calculate this, you have 5. 2, 2, 5. So for this, you have m equals to uh, 4. Because we're moving this one go over side, plus 4. 4 plus 1.225, we have 5.225. And we're moving a 4. 4 minus with, uh, 4 minus with 1.225, you are getting 2.775. Right? You have two value, but median can only have one value. right? Median can only have one value for this distribution here. But which one to choose? Uh, we cannot simply, we have to look at the median. <coughs> the median is between 4 and 7. Right, it's within this range, 4 and 7. If you look at these two values, uh, this one is acceptable because 5.225 is in the range, right? 
but 2.775 is not in the range, right? It's not in the range. So definitely this one will be rejected as a median, right? Uh, this will be rejected. I hope you know the reason, right? Uh, the reason. And this one is accepted. Means that therefore your median, right? Your median M, you have to calculate and you are getting the value of 5.225. Right? Uh, hope you understand. Right? Uh, so the third quartile will also be the same. Right? Third quartile, you just have to FQ3 equals to uh, uh, 0.75. Right? But for the first quartile, if you want to find the first quartile, you have to substitute here. Right? Uh, and equate it to 0 0.25. Alright? Uh, so this is my... Uh, right? I have to tell you what to do if you want to find median. Okay? Uh, what is the characteristic of these two? Okay. Alright, in another video for the same question here, I'm going to sketch the graph for the big FX here and how to, how, how to using this to find the probability, right?